do that really simple but satisfying lick. Uh, it's kind of like Almond Brothers, and um, there's two parts to it. We'll show you both parts up close. See you in just a second. All right, gang. Pretty simple but very, very satisfying lick. Um, all right, you can download the tab from the link in the description below. I suspect you probably won't need it, but there it is if you need it. Okay, now this lick is over an A minor to an E, or an A power chord to an E. All right. So let me play it slowly. It is over an A minor pentatonic. And by the way, there's lots of ways to finger this one. I chose to finger it so that the two, uh, the two guitar parts would kind of line up with each other a little bit. Here is the first guitar part. I'm going to play it slowly, okay? One, two. Another shout out to Matt. These are triplets. This is another example of the Clayton Bongine triplets. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. So uh, while the first, while the first um, guitar is doing that, and you can see what's happening. We're just going. We're starting here on the sixth string, fifth fret, going down, then coming back up, then ascending in the scale one note, going back and coming back to that note, like so. <laughs> And then to the next note in the scale. Now to the next note in the scale. Now to the next note. And so on. Okay, now the second one, guitar basically does what we used to call a round in my elementary school when we were learning how to sing these things. I think it comes from medieval times, actually, or at least from Baroque period, when uh, we learned it was singing and we did row, row, row your boat. So the f uh, when the first team or whatever, sing, the first person sings row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, when you get to gently down, your, down the stream, the first person singing row, row, row your boat, and it sounds cool. So that's exactly what's going on here. So we'll count it out. Over the first two beats of the measure, there's nothing. But then over the third beat of the measure, you basically just play the same thing that the first guitar was playing. We're going to end up on a final note that's a little bit different. And, uh, but there's some symmetry here, so you'll see what that is. Okay, so here's what the second guitar is doing. One, two, three, four. You see, it's the same as what the first guitar does, except for that last note on the fourth string, ninth fret, instead of the third string, ninth fret. And that's it, folks. When put together, it sounds really, really cool um, and very Almond Brothers-ish. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Really simple but satisfying. Hope you enjoyed this one. We will see you on down the road.